Professor of Political Marketing at the University of Leicester. Professor, uh, welcome to you. Uh, what I think people, even people who would, uh, are self-declared uh, fans of Boris Johnson, I include myself in that number, uh, are looking at now is a situation where you think there have been so many resets, there have been so many big ideas, there's nothing he can do to save his skin now. I think that's right, Colin. It's very difficult to see how he could get out of this. Um, I guess he thinks he can tough it out, um, and that's probably what he'll try and do. But but with people like Michael Gove, Priti Patel, uh, even uh, Nadim Zawi, I, I understand, uh, saying that he should go, uh, or about to say he should go, then I think it's uh, his position is pretty untenable. Should he have an eye? I mean, I come at this from your perspective as a, as a professor of political marketing, should he have an eye, do you think, on the way we market our system of democracy? Because, uh, you know, people can make all kinds of high-minded claims about the importance of probity and, you know, um, doing the right thing. But there does come a point where actually, and you saw it in that liaison committee meeting, where there's so much bad blood that you have to make a clean sweep of it. I think I think it's you're right to point out that there's a serious difficulty with um, with trust in our system at the moment, and that is down to him. It's not down to uh, okay. We've had the situation with Chris uh, Pincher, of course, but but it's largely a lot of the problems that, that the voter has with this government are problems with Boris Johnson and not problems with the Conservative Party in general. So he's starting to um, make them look uh, a little bit unelectable, um, which is interesting because there's no real opposition. So I think what would happen at the if there were an election now, what would happen is Labour would get in, but a lot of Tory voters, I think, would probably abstain rather than shifting over, and that's really bad news for the Conservative Party. Paul, I suspect uh, at the various newspapers, what we used to call Fleet Street, Fleet Street, they'll be dusting down the political obituaries for Boris Johnson, uh, and some of them will be thinking about what is, as, as a as a, as a classical, a student of classics, uh, what his fatal flaw was. What, what, does he have one? What is it? I, I, it's telling the truth, isn't it? It's his inability to, uh, to, to, uh, to always tell the truth. He, he obfuscates. And whilst politicians, to some, to some extent, have to do this a little bit, because there is uncertainty in, in, in lots of things, and um, it does look bad if they're constantly saying they don't know what's going on and so on. So sometimes they have to fudge things uh, a little bit. But th there's a big difference between, uh, you know, not uh, uh, fudging things and, and exaggerating things and outright lying. And it, it seems that this uh, episode of, of, of lying associated with Chris Bencher has, has just finished him off. It's, it's the straw that broke the camel's back, I think. Professor Paul Baines, we appreciate you.